everyone! Today I come to you with a video that's not specifically about corsets, but it's certainly related and important. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Genie Bra, which is, in my opinion, the best bra that I've personally tried to wear in conjunction with my corsets. Now, there are a lot of really similar bras out there, like the Air Bra, the Ah Bra, um, probably some other ones that I don't know about, and I haven't tried those other ones specifically, I've only tried the Genie Bra. However, um, if any of you have tried any of the other bras that are really similar to the Genie Bra and you liked it, then please comment below and let me know. So some of you might notice that I'm wearing the exact same outfit that I did when I was reviewing the What Katie Did Baby Corset almost exactly a year ago. And the only difference is that I'm wearing the genie bra with it instead of one of my standard push-up bras. Some of you might also remember in that video I had these really unflattering back rolls um, back then and I am now about 10 to 15 pounds heavier than I was in that video so if anything I should have more back rolls and not less so I'm just going to show you this uh, corset again from all angles so you can see the difference so here's the front the side the back and the other side so you can see that the silhouette is still not perfect, I have a little bit of pudge here and there, but I think that has more to do with the fact that this corset is, you know, not quite shaped to my body perfectly. But you can still see that with this bra, there was a huge improvement from before. And now I'm doing something which I've never done before, which is show you an underbust corset without a shirt on. And this is just to show you what kind of coverage you can expect and also what kind of support you can expect. So here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So you can see that with a proper fitting corset, the line is pretty much seamless and there's no real pudge sticking out anywhere. Also, the Genie Bra doesn't have any underwire here, so this is comfortable to use with any of your underbust corsets. So here's a close up of the Genie Bra, and I just want to tell you guys that I was not paid by the Genie Bra guys to do this, uh, I was not given any free samples or anything. I just know that a lot of girls have the same frustrations that I do in terms of, you know, kind of getting the back fat and whatnot when they're wearing a push up bra with their underbust corset, and this is the best thing that I've found to help fix that. And you can see the first thing that there are no bones in there, no underwire, no side bones, no clasps or anything, nothing metal in it. So you can like, you can really scrunch it up really hard and it doesn't matter. It's not going to warp because there's nothing in it to warp. So you can throw it in the washer, you can throw it in the dryer, which is kind of a godsend for me because I hate doing laundry. You can see that this is really, really, really stretchy. So if you are gaining weight or if you're losing weight, then this is pretty much going to, you know, stay with you because um, it can conform to your size. You can see here that the straps are about an inch wide and it goes down into a v-neck here. So if you're wearing this underneath uh, another shirt, then it looks sort of like a camisole. In terms of the really low cut tops that you wanna wear out to the clubs, I mean, this isn't as cute as a push-up bra, but if you're looking for a little bit more coverage, then you can go with this. And there's about a two inch wide band here, which um, is a little bit thicker than all the other parts of the bra. And that is supposed to help keep the bra in place. Now you can see that there are a couple areas here um, the creasing shows that it was rolling up a little bit once in a while, but honestly, I don't find that really uncomfortable. If you're looking for an extremely smooth silhouette, then maybe once every couple hours you might have to tug this down a little bit, but honestly, I have so much less frustration with this bra than I do with a lot of my push-up bras that I really don't care if it rolls up a little bit. So I'm just going to take a minute here to turn this inside out and you'll actually see that the back is all one piece, it's all one layer of fabric, but the front actually has two layers of fabric here and it has little openings on the side here, little pockets in which you can slip in or take out these little bust pads. So if you need a little bit extra support or if you just don't want to look cold all the time, then feel free to put these bust pads in and um, they come with four bus pads in the package of two bras. So I'm going to put this right side out again and I can show you um, what the bra looks like with the bus pad and without the bus pad. So it's really up to you. Just make sure that you take these pads out before you throw the bra in the wash. 
So you do not have to buy six of these bras for $60 plus shipping and handling from the website. What I did was I just went to Bed Bath & Beyond, which I think is in Canada and the US, and I bought a pack of two for just $25. So this is the size medium. And in the pack of two, you get one nude and one black bra. So I really hope this video was informative to those ladies out there. And once again, if anybody else has tried the awe bra, the air bra, any of those other types of bras um, with their courses and they've had similar results, then please let me know by leaving a comment down below. If you liked this video, then please help support the channel by clicking that like button. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.